Hey friends, today we are going to discuss on the topic that is cerebrum. Cerebrum, the principal and the most anterior part of the brain in vertebrates, located in front area of the skull and consisting of the two hemispheres. It is responsible for the integration of complex sensory and neural functions and the initiation and coordination of the voluntary activity in the body. So why we are going to learn about cerebrum? Because it regulates many functions like if I say hey medicos first you look here the word that is hey medicos then these signals are interpreted in your primary visual cortex that is area number 17 which is located in the most posterior portion of the brain that is in occipital lobe here and these signals then transferred into Wernicke's speech area that is area number 22 here which is highlighted in green color Wernicke's area is the region of the brain that is important for language development it is located in the temporal lobe on the left side of the brain and it is responsible for the comprehension of the speech then the signals are transferred into the Broca's area that is area number 44 and the Broca's area is related to the production of the speech and the signals then transferred into motor cortex vocalization that is area number four and now you can speak the word that is hey medicals so if i ask you a simple question that is which structure connects the brokers and the vernicus area and the options are arcuate fasciculus anterior commissure fornix or d that is corpus callosum so what is your answer so remember that the structures of the Broca's area and the Wernicke's area are connected by arcuate fasciculus. Here we have the Broca's area and here we have the Wernicke's area and these both are connected by the arcuate fasciculus. So the answer is arcuate fasciculus. So this is one function from the several functions of the cerebrum. So like the Wernicke's area, like the Broca's speech area, there are many functional areas in the brain. There are about 52 areas in cerebral cortex. So these all areas are compiled into three types of functional areas. First one is motor area. Second one is sensory area. And third one is association area. Look over this diagram. These are the locations of the different types of area in the cerebral cortex. You can pause the video here and can take the screenshot. Now we are moving toward our point of interest that is anatomy of the cerebrum. So we have three surface areas. Look over this image. This is the superolateral area of the cerebrum. Look over here. This is the medial surface of the cerebrum. And this is the inferior part that is the inferior surface of the cerebrum. This is divided into two parts that is the orbital and here we have the tentorial. So right over here that is three surfaces in which the first one is superolateral second one is medial and third is inferior in inferior we have the two parts that is the orbital and the tentorial now moving toward the next topic that is the lobes and sulci of the cerebrum so there are four lobes in the cerebrum the first one is frontal lobe which is highlighted in light pink color here this is the temporal lobe which is highlighted in dark pink color this is the parietal lobe which is highlighted in blue color and this is the occipital lobe which is highlighted in the green color so these are the four lobes of the cerebrum that is frontal lobe temporal lobe parietal lobe and occipital lobe so what is sulci and the gyri here we have the cerebrum right and the foldings of cerebral cortex create gyri and the sulci gyri are the folds or bumps and the sulci are the indentations or the grooves in these folds which separate brain regions and increase the brain surface area and cognitive ability so this is the sulci and the gyri so what is the function of sulci sulci increase the surface area of the cerebrum so let's discuss some important sulcus in cerebrum so first one is central circus look at this this is the central circus and central circus is run antero inferiorly and separate frontal lobe from the parietal lobe posteriorly the next one is lateral sulcus look over this this sulcus separate 
temporal lobe inferiorly from frontal and parietal lobe. So lateral sulcus separate temporal lobe inferiorly from the frontal and parietal lobe. The next sulcus is calcarine sulcus and in which there is a occipital visual cortex is present. Now the next important sulcus is parieto occipital sulcus. The name itself suggests parieto and occipital. So it separate the precuneus of the parietal lobe from the cuneus of occipital lobe on the medial surface of cerebral hemisphere. So these are the important sulci of the cerebrum that is central sulcus, lateral sulcus, calcarine sulcus and parieto occipital sulcus. Now moving towards some important gyrus of the cerebrum. So look over this image, this central sulcus divides two important gyri that is precentral gyrus and the postcentral gyrus. Precentral gyrus is present in front of the central sulcus. Yes? Yeah, it is present in front of the central sulcus while the function of the precentral gyrus is to control skeletal muscles of the body and the post central sulcus is present behind the central sulcus look over this diagram this is present behind the central sulcus so the functions of post central gyrus is here there is a parietal sensory cortex present and the function of this parietal sensory cortex is touch pain temperature and proprioception and look over this diagram this is the insula which is present at the floor of lateral sulcus. The function of the insula is the body representation and the subject to emotional experience that is it's involved in pain, love, emotion, addiction and the enjoyment of the music or even the tasting of the wine. So let's take a quick revision. We discuss about the cerebral areas in the brain. There are different types of functional areas in cerebrum can be divided into three types that is motor area, sensory area and association area. After that we discuss about the anatomy of the cerebrum in which we discuss that there are three surfaces that is superlateral surface, medial surface and inferior surface. Inferior surface is divided into two parts that is orbital and tentorial. Yes, after that we discuss about the lobes and we discuss about frontal lobe, temporal lobe parietal lobe and occipital lobe. Then we discuss about sulci and the gyri. In sulci we discuss about important sulcus like central sulcus, lateral sulcus, calcarine sulcus and parieto occipital sulcus. In gyri we discuss about precentral gyrus and postcentral gyrus and at last we also discuss about insula which is present at the floor of lateral sulcus. So this is all about the cerebrum. Thank you for watching this video.